Hello and welcome. Right, we have got an awful lot of mowing to do now, so I'm going to set this going first. Uh, oh, no, it should really, oh, I've done it now. Yeah, I have. I did mean to set the other ones. I'd forgotten we've got the pull along mowers and not the, uh, the my normal, which are the seven metre ones on the front and back. And of course, all of them should sort of manage this. Also, we really do need a second set, but for the process. But I think I've already said this. I don't really want to be going any later than October. So this is the this is the last cut. We're going to do it in September. For many reasons. We've got quite a lot of harvest in October with all of the um, special crops. So everything I just checked and nothing's ready now. So yeah. We'll, yes. We've also got crop destruction plus on since the last time I came on the map. Yeah. Um, Tonics to the right. Oh, I'm not going to do it. Right, we'll set this going and then we'll put, come and grab the windrow next in readiness. I'm trying to think who is going to do that. I think so I've gone really out of the. Uh, this one really is probably the one I should be doing. The mind you, the windrows aren't very powerful, but I can't remember how powerful these tractors are, if I'm honest, I need to do a bit of checking, right, so I may as well do this one first then, field 14, and 6.8 meters, clear load, activate, and burst, fantastic, need to grab one of the others, yeah, I don't think we've still got enough, uh, We were very fortunate to get dropped with the now. That means we can actually grab the other burger. But <laughs> for the first time, we've been here forever. Well, not for five possessions anyway. Yeah, I've literally done uh, pretty much one of everything of all of the let's plays. And I, I thought it's no different to this, this would need to do it as well. So, I know, actually, to go, I've been looking forward to doing this one. Yeah. Oh, okay, not quite. Oh, it's a little bit around, that's it, that's it. I mean, I didn't see. I didn't think I wasn't far off. Customize that one. I'm going to see that we, yeah, no, this is the most you can get from this particular one. Yeah, you have to buy the, the really big one. I mean, one, of, one of the three is a monster, it is, and that you have to buy literally at the beginning. You, you can't upgrade to that, it really is that special. You can you can start with the lowest, and the, that will let you upgrade to the middle one, but you can't ever get the uh, really, really powerful one. We've taken this away finally. And now we want to take the right to the road with this one. But I do like my choice of pullers. Yeah, I think I've ever had some. Oh, right, it's, uh... There's a little bit crafty. on this. I've got a header now. Fantastic. Yeah, uh, oh, oh yeah, that's true. I'm going to say we have got the other lorry as well. Wow, fantastic. Let me just have a quick look at productions on camera. This is as much for myself as you. If I'm, uh, Yeah, it is. I'd like you to see it too, but it has been a while. All right, almonds oil production. We need to get some almonds. Yeah, the BGA is a we will be putting lots of grass in later into the... Uh, oh, that is a point. Have we... How do we... Process our grass? Have we got the end of time? No, we actually bail them. Don't we? Quick bail. Of course we do. Yes. Right, okay. Question then. Am I in the way here? Yeah, this, this yard, we are bursting out this yard, really. We, it is, we soon are... Well, no, we have got somewhere. 
the Armadoyle place has got a few bits and bobs, but I think I do think I'm right. Although this is fantastic, I think well we could do what I did on one of the other let's plays, which is to take a little bit of all of the fields around uh, and adjust it. That would actually do. If you look at the yeah, if I sort of show you. I have done that before, and then it would be actually quite a large. I could take if I a little tiny bit of that. We don't think we'd need to take anything off 22, and maybe the top section of that there and make that all into the farmyard. I know we've got some sheds, and I know we've got a little tiny shed in there and stuff like that. Also, on this, let's play because. There's some specialist equipment. I am going to leave that in a shed near the fields. Yeah, the um, special almond thing that we've got. We're fortunate enough to get all of those. We will stick those like here yeah, somewhere else. Now then, now let's have a look at the horsepower requirements. And I'm totally forgetting where that is. Yeah, in our shed horsepower requirements. Of course, we have got the Challenger. Of course, we have the Olive Technology. Sorry, that was what I was on about, not the uh, other. This trailer now works. It does, and I'm not sure it didn't work before. Whether something on this was stopping it work, as in because this map's got a lot going on. It has a uh, windrower. Is 115 horsepower. So the little ones, is either of those capable of? That's in the range. That could probably manage that, actually. The, yeah, the messy, it could just about, but I'm not willing to risk it. Now then, say that we had just set this going and we're about to do the uh, spraying. Do you know something? Yeah, this is going to be a monster. I don't know if I ever intended on the putting this today, though, or whether I was literally going to do that at the session. So we, yeah, we are going to. Let's think that 14 is probably now not far off. I'm glad that we've not. Yeah. This is a nippy little thing, it really is. Fantastic turning circle. I always forget about uh, New Holland when I'm totting up tractors about talking about tractors that are good at steering. Now these are good at steering too, that is definitely true. You know, I always talk, talk about Fent, Class um, and um, Masses. Yeah, they are all good. I often forget about New Holland. Yeah, these are... Uh, I have to have these quite a lot actually, right now, now it's over here. That would make me just remember to stick to the left hand side because it does go down. It's one of those things of this particular... Yeah, the shed slopes backwards and really this is quite large. So we need to sort of try and stick to roughly where we are. So we don't clatter against the roof. Field 14, 14.8, I would say so. Uh, get ready with you. Take you to the this has got some big stones. I have a sneaky feeling that these two are just about to cross paths. Might ah. just make that. No. <laughs> I would have done if I had stopped faffing around. They don't all faff around these workers, the truth is. Right, yeah, this is the last one. I suppose now they do it patiently. Yeah, like this. So he's going to get caught in a minute for being patient. Right, okay. 
that's we're now safe. Let's uh, go to the next for now. I don't think we've actually got 6.8 uh, meter courses for the uh, other ones, so I think we'll be doing these from scratch because uh, these were not grass long ago. No, I've actually done what I said I was going to do, which is to actually make these into grass to make an awful lot of. Um, silage over the winter I want to say an awful lot obviously it's, it's only second growth stage that's what I am going to say I don't think it, well I, I'm hoping it wasn't first I think it was not I looked at did study the grass to begin with I thought it was third growth stage but I don't think it is this looks like first growth stage though this really does oh no no it isn't actually no 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 first is very sparse so right so this is fields remind me I'm not sure what its number is 23 I don't think we'll have 6.8. Oh, but you'd be wrong. I didn't think we'd done this yet. Weird. I'm, I'm very sort of gone very rusty on that. The, this entire let's play the equipment uh, that I remember. I can see obviously what we've got. That right, Challenger Quick Veil. Uh, also remember that the Quick Veil. Oh, the Anderson. We need to go and check if the Anderson, if those bales are ready to put in here or not. I can't remember. I still love the shed. No, I haven't forgotten that. Yeah, I know we have, we've, we've tried valiantly really in the space given to have a, a reasonable amount of storage space. Uh, I think it yeah, it was money. I think I was, I was really uh, trying to expand and try to do everything all in one year, as in like not miss anything out. But obviously, you, that means that you're going to sort of spend money as soon as you've uh, made it. So let's go and have a look and see if those bales are ready or not. But I suppose actually, be great. I never thought of that. Yeah, I just had a bit of a brainwave. You could still drop them in front of the uh, bike spam. Even if they're not so uh ninety eight percent uh -huh. it's not but there we could do then is take this through till about I would say ten ish it's ninety eight percent maybe eleven have we got any why are we not going full Right. Okay, that I might yeah might be eleven. I think I still think it's not going to be quite. Time grass. Silage. So yeah, but it may be that some of these. I mean, are we going to grab a quick bail? No, so drop these off first, and then we'll come back quick bail. It's a bit ungainly dragging this to I know I do do it sometimes, but yeah, let's uh, drop these off and not make it difficult to myself. And then we'll come back with a quick play. I'll leave this on the side of the fields. I do love this. It is amazing as well. The fact that you can actually use the Anderson on the back of the baler. I think it's absolutely amazing. I, there is, you can do it wrongly. I have done it on court farms where I took this uh, on the main farm uh, to begin with. Um, yeah. And you can, if you turn a corner too sharply, you, get, you can actually snag the... No, then no, uh, no, it's all grass. I can do what I like now. Oh, yeah, I still do need to get that sorted, it's true. Yeah, Oops, it doesn't really matter. Right, so then we need to change this to as Y. Fantastic. I would say that is the wind drawer. Let's not do that again twice. Let's move it out of the way this time. Here's the little retriever that we got from the map maker. I'm trying to think who the map maker is. It is. I do know, I just can't think of his name. The main Carmlands 2, and can I remember? I 
hat. So that's not for the fact they're not silent, it's for the fact that that's the hopper's build. Yeah. Right, so actually, so we're going to need this on this field first. Let's go grab the nailer, but also grab the wound drawer. So it makes more sense to actually go along the edge of this field. Well, actually, we don't need to worry about going along the edge now, do we? Because really, just go on the grass, which is... <laughs> I do love that about grass, that you don't ever have to worry about uh, killing the crop. It is quite nice. I know... I think it was, was it FS15 or 13 where you did have to worry about said, yeah, you did. You really did. It, like, you literally crushed it a little bit or something like that. I remember seeing Mr. CDP. Um, I did watch almost all of his Let's Plays during like COVID, those horrible times. Yeah, it, it's what really kept me going, if I'm honest. I really did enjoy watching it, that being... Uh, locked in your own house that uh, was so horrible such a horrible feeling and not being able to go anywhere yeah that i used to sort of just watch uh, his episodes and that really did get me through which is i think really what uh, uh yeah, what um made me want to do it myself really if i'm honest yeah i, I thought i wanted to pass the love on truthfully and i thought i could do a good enough job um, it has been a journey, though I have got to be honest, it's not... Oh, I thought you were going to get that was so I, I had forgotten. Let's unfold this. We can at least connect this, and it's the left-hand side. That much I do remember. Yeah. And go through our little secret place, really. No, no, you've oversteered. Ooh, almost perfect, almost. Now then you need to go heavily to the right. See, it goes to the left. So, oh, now that was about as close as close can be. But that'll do. <laughs> you can't get better than not, yeah, not doing it. So we're right, we need to go out. Yeah, definitely, definitely a uh, short on the uh, lowers. I think I always intended on grabbing another one, but I'm always a little bit low. So I think we're going to manage with this. Yeah, it's, uh, it's quite not bad windrows actually. I think if I remember right, I did do all the fertilizer alignment as well in the last session. Uh, at least I hope I did. But it's a little bit late now anyway, so <laughs> it is true. It is what it is. Even natural grass still grows to a certain extent, so even if we're just getting it at that level, I'm quite happy with that. Right, so we need to be doing field 23. Are we a little early? Probably this is this is the biggest bit. No, I don't think it is. It's uh, 22 that is the biggest field. But let's at least set the course in this, and we can use the quick bail. I'm going to time lapse this though going forwards. Yeah, I am. I, I just wanted to chat with you all just briefly, just to sort of a, a bit of a catch up. So we will not start you yet. We'll grab you. Gonna go and bail on the first field. That gives that enough time to actually get cracking now. Uh, it's still, no, it's a long way that way, a really long way. Now then we need to go heavily to the right because it, it yeah it goes to the left a lot. So we need to uh, yeah walk to the right like that so that we can avoid hitting the edges of the sheds and in the mountain and trees and everything as we pass. Yeah. Well, I am now going to say my words. Yeah, we're going to literally time lapse this because it's going to be a bit of a monster, truthfully. But a, a beautiful monster, I have no doubt. Because over the winter, this should tide us through nicely so that we actually earn quite a lot of cash in readiness for next year. Because yeah, we've still got all of the. Um, obviously, the reason we're skint as well is that we have been buying productions and we still need to buy some more. Yeah, we're not, not quite there yet. We've still got some. Uh, some to find as well, I think. So, yes. Let's do this. Let's I do need to do it. I apologise, I don't ever tab, but obviously I did. Yeah, I don't mean to ever tab, shall I say. That's not really on there. Right, anyway, enough waffling for me. Yeah, 
and say my words. And we'll see you guys and gals on the other side.
but it's a little bit early for a couple of reasons. Yeah. One is, I thought I'd test this theory. This is a 14.8 meter, and I thought I'm going to test this to see if course weight does make alterations as I thought, with based on the weight, the uh, weight, the width of the actual implement, especially if they close. That proves it. There's no actual weight. Yeah, there's no like meter. There should really technically be meter spaces on that course, and there aren't. So it does prove that course weight to a degree is not. Completely autonomous. I've never done it. Like, yeah, I am. So this going. The other thing is, yeah, I'm also figured out the quick bail. How to defeat that um, problem uh, of catching the bail? If you go anti-clockwise on the course. Now you may have all known this already. You may have already thought of it. And my television has decided it's wanting this precise moment to switch off. Yeah, it's um. If you go the normal way, which to me, I don't know about yourselves, I want to go clockwise all of the time. You have to fight that instinct with that piece of equipment if you go the other way because of the way that the um, Anderson's built, because of its arm, it can grab the odd grass bale. Uh, now, I don't know if we've seen this on this Let's Play. It certainly did on Court Farm. Yeah, that's no, not quite a steep enough angle. Yes, I did have trouble. I clanged into the post here. So yeah, I think we're going to need to um, find somewhere for the quick bail, but then that shed is big enough. It's just a matter of, yeah, there is room at, with, under that, uh, the bigger one. But yeah, I was before putting the quick bail and a baler, uh, a baler, and a mower under here. We can't do that anymore. No. Right, so this, yeah, so I will show you in action. The, I'm going to show you the wrong way. And then the right way to use a quick mail. I'm not going to literally go, but I'm going to sort of go. Yeah, what it is, it's timing. It is, you can sort of uh, also just slow down. But I mean, if you wanted to do what the quick bail is designed to do, which is just to go, then really, you, the way that I'm going to show you now is the way to do it without getting any kind of, um, yeah. Anything that goes wrong, right, when we stick, we stick, it's still on the field, it is. Right, we have, we are collecting tractors on the edge of the field. Yeah, yeah, that's, but the other thing is, I was thinking about this as I was uh, in the time lapse, as you do, I often, my best thinking, I often do when I'm not chatting, I do say this, that it's the chatting that I, I sometimes get my words wrong and all sorts of things, it's because you're chatting and I'm trying to concentrate more on you and let the automatic farming skills that you've honed over your years of playing the game, uh, like take over. Uh, we've got now. Let's skip that a little bit and raise it. Yeah. Now then, so let's do the yeah the uh, field 21 smallest. I thought I'd, yeah, I'd assist on field 22 because I didn't think it'd take as long to actually grab that. So we've done well. We have. I did expect it really. Now this is this is FS19 form. I used to actually go in first pro state. So actually, so then. Yeah, the wrong, the wrong way to do this is this away. I shall show you why. Okay, we've got, no, that's still down. Yeah, when you, obviously, you grab your grass, if you're unfortunate enough that your bale is ready, at, as you're going around the end, the corner bend, that's when trouble happens. Because if you look at the Anderson, I do it now while that drops off. I'll let that drop off. If you imagine I'm just doing a grass bale and the Anderson arm goes under there, when the grass bale comes out, the Anderson will grab it and it's only grass. Now the game can throw a wobbler because that's supposed to wrap and it knows it's supposed to wrap and it can't wrap. Or worse than that, I have seen a catastrophic um, strop on this. Which is if you're partially wrapped and you go around a the corner, then the game will have an absolute meltdown because you are interrupting one of those processes that shouldn't be interrupted. So yeah, if you do this, and like as this is not going to be far off where I would almost do this. Now I need to I need to literally stop that or go straight that that won't happen. Right, so now now let's do this the right way. So then you have to fight your natural instinct. Because if you go that way, as you'll notice, the Anderson bends the wrong way and the arm is completely 
not facing that. When I when I go around a corner, I'm going to do that. So there's the gaps widening rather than uh, the other thing to remember is as I reminded myself on the uh, I think the first or the second field is go wide with this because it's not doesn't like yeah because it's a bit of a contraption well you would probably snap it I mean mind you I don't know how strong that metal is it, it looks a fairly sturdy bit of steel construction the actual um, the the joining bits to this but yeah you can see as I go around the corner it widens out. That is the secret to the quick bail. And I didn't figure it out. And I thought, there's got to be a way you can use the quick bail. You know, like literally just go and, and like, because you're not supposed to really have to think about it. Yeah, I mean, you can still be too quick. Um, it is quick bail, but it's not like um, flash quick. <laughs> where, yeah, you, if the window is massive, uh, we might get away with this. You you can go over the field so quickly that the second chamber is filled and you it just, yeah, will leave grass on the floor, which obviously it's because you've been too quick. But I think on these windrows, oh, I don't know, these are big windrows. Ah, uh, yeah, but I don't think, I think if I'm honest, that the, now then, 70, no, seven more before we need to worry you can't fill it. I mean, that is true. I, I think I was worrying a few sessions ago about actually uh, um, overdoing it. Well, you can't because the Anderson's arm's going to go up. So, yeah, I think I was uh, unduly worrying about that particular aspect. But, yeah, so you can see there's no chance if you go anti clockwise, you ever hitting that snag with the quick bail. You just have to fight the natural instinct. Well, my natural instinct is to go. That doesn't mean to say yours is, but it is for me. Yeah, I really do just want to uh, go clockwise all the time. I think it's when you're trained as a kid in Britain, or at least when I was trained as a kid, I'm not sure kids are trained at anywhere near the things, practical matters, that we were trained when I was a kid. Yeah, I read now then. No, 20 still. I think we'll do it. Yeah, I, I think it's a little spell. I think this will second grow stage. But I'm glad we've got October and November now for the grass to grow ready. We will probably will do one cut next year. And we wouldn't have been able to do that if I'd have gone where it, I did it sparsely, so 21. Yeah, I think we're going to have to... Well, I think we will throw these off for the last field anyway. I think that would be a wise thing to do. Yeah, well, my instinct is still... Oh, no, that was too tight. It was. I knew that the second I did it. At the beginning, to get to the point where your brain is saying... Yeah, you you get to know your implements, don't you? A little bit. I mean, you can go rusty as well, that I will say. But, yeah, it's true. I've, uh, you've got to go very, very shallow turns with this. So that it doesn't literally... Well, it may also snap it if you did that, really, in real life. But, I... Uh, yeah, you'd at least bend the metal and then you'd make it... You'd cost yourself an awful lot of money, let's just put it that way. No, I know, I'm, I'm, I'm breaking my own rule now and I am going the wrong way because, yeah, it would be rather a large turn. Oh, no, that's a little bit... Yeah. Right, so, yeah, even though this may not finish this last... Oh, I think it might. It's a quite a clean and tidy way. So I didn't expect that. Oh, I don't think I will quite actually looking at it. And we just let's finish this off on the next field. Sure, sure. Have we we have we have clanged. Well, we might actually. I did did think that when I was uh, doing it. I thought it'd been a while since the uh, winter had actually um, around here. Right now, then this is the last. Uh, uh, oh no, no, we can grab that one. We can. It's the last one. Fantastic. Let's sort that out. It must have clanged into the actual bales. I did know that I'd lent over slightly, unfortunately. Right, let's set the window go first. It's the most important thing of all. As in we, yeah, we'll, this is in my control, that's what I really mean, not... Ah, very, wow. It's, uh, it's enough, it's enough, the work is very precise. Wow. Yeah, I think he must have hit it and then literally veered out, so... Fantastic. 
And I must remember that we're using these straw, aren't we, to make manure to keep our processes going. We, yeah, that was important to us on this Let's Play. Right, so then. Yeah, but let's just... Yeah, I mean, yeah, unlike normally where you're worried about crop, actually, you're not worried about that this time because you can always go over grass. And that's why I love grass. It's just so beautiful as a crop. It is. And I know it seems a bit of a weird thing to say as a crop, but it is really. We do harvest it. Just, we don't say that we harvest it, we bale it. But it's the same thing. It is a unique thing, though. A thing of beauty, really. Grass, well, it's, well, it is anyway. But, yeah, it is a... Right, let's pull that back. And we will uh, follow that. Uh, will we cause any trouble if we go too early? We may do. Yeah, we might, actually. Is there anything at all we can actually do? We can have a look at the productions and see actually on that very point about the bales. Yeah, we still need the one thing we do need still is a telehandler, really. I mean, I know we've got the Massey, and it really has served us very well throughout this entire let's play as a sort of a telehandler front loader. Yeah, we really, you know, that's a point. What is in sales? Not that we can really afford much. Ah, Phoenix back, right? One of the records or that pack, I think. Right, uh, yeah, I think we were looking at productions. Yeah, silage is full as we know. We've just filled it. Electrocharge and digestic, yeah, is 11 tons already. And packaging factory, it will come into its own. The pistachio oil and we bought the almond oil. Both of those plants we bought, which is brilliant. Uh, processed lime, yeah, we're not using that one even though we've got it. And only a little bit of loss though, that is. That's not bad at all. Um, I was trying to think about, yeah, the, I think the one we've got is. We'll have a look in a minute. Yes, yeah, solid fertilizer manure plus digestate. We need to grab some of the man Oh no, there's plenty of manure in. No, it's just the digestate, which will pop in itself at some point. Seeds from barley. I think we can switch off now. Please tell me the seeds. We're storing all oh, my life. 50 tons. That's right. We were making seeds to sell, weren't we? That is right. We were buying, yes, that is definitely true. I remember 78 tons of herbicide. Wow, amazing. Uh, no, it's not this one, the production. No, it's a production shed for lime. We do need to do it. We need to buy some stone. Oh, we've got some stone. I think that's what I was waiting for. Yeah, to grab that stone out of the thing because I keep talking about it and then I don't actually do it. Right, so that is it. So we need to grab some stone. Right, well, now we kind of think. I think we are in a position where we can... Oh, yeah, because I keep forgetting. We're picking the bales up, so it don't matter. Right, so we, uh, we do remember what you just said about going the right way. Yeah, as in the wrong way, because, yeah, the right way is the way that you automatically... Your brain wants to go clockwise, always. Mine, because I'm not saying about anyone else's. Other people may have already loved these flowers. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm uh, so glad we're back on the map. Really am. Uh, I missed doing this, if I'm honest, because really, it really was intensive. Uh, and then obviously I started the normal let's play, and then literally, lo and behold, caught farm trucks. And obviously, yeah, I've been in, in literally on that uh, constantly. I like this. Yeah, if you were uh, focus on that like angle, it's just put it on cruise control and we shouldn't really run into any issues. Although it's a little bit fast if I'm honest. Yeah, you miss the corners then. Plus switch you risk, I think, if you do it at that full pelt, which you can of course. Well, not full pelt, but you can certainly do it very fast. The quick bail is amazing. Yeah, so here, you do that, and obviously, the, yeah, the gap is widening, I am right, it is, we have figured it out. I, I did think there'd got to be a way to do it, I did. Yeah, I love this, but it's clean, obviously it picks the bales up after it, which really, they do cause so much trouble. It's the only sort of thing I've got against uh, baling when you're tr trying to hit the field with a team, because you really have got to remember that you are going to like um, 
yeah, the, the workers don't like bales and they will literally stop them right from the, this stops that if they're dead. It's almost the perfect baling system. I know it's a little cheeky with its mini windrow, but I am trying my best to actually use it properly where we would be just going over this. Yeah, there's very few bits where I'm not paying attention to corners, really. Yeah, I mean, I can fairly bail fairly well anyway normally, so yeah, it's not like that's anything new to me so you you always the aim is to try to grab the grass without now then what we eight I don't think we need to worry I think at the very very most we'll fill this but I don't think we quite will do it we'll have a little bit yeah go a little bit not quite yeah let's go wide and back for the bits that we need to clean I think we're gonna I think we're gonna catch up with the um, wind drawer. Yeah, we'll go a little bit wide like that just to be a bit realistic. Because if we're going full pelt speed, I think, yeah, I don't think we can make those turns at that max speed. Which then you've got to ask yourself the question is it actually? I suppose you could do that, but then you're using the wind drawing ability of the actual baler, which is a little bit cheeky. Yeah, I feel a bit fast. What I should be doing is cruise controlling at about, I should say, 15 miles an hour is probably about right. Yeah, 15, I would say it's not far off, but I don't, I'm not going to do the cruise control because it always causes issues. As in, I forget to switch it off and then I would, yeah, they, they would travel across the map. Now, my follow me's playing up ever since I, uh, I bought a program called Sim Dashboard a long time ago. And I can, obviously, I could. I've, I've w sort of wondered whether I should do this um, like before. You literally, I know there's a few content creators that literally work like that. To make that work, you need to have a bit of magic. Um, see dashboard, which takes your dash, your HUD, and it puts it on a tablet, an Android tablet or an iOS tablet. Uh, it, it is. It's. I find it um, uncomfortable, if I'm honest, and not only that, a lot of people uh, like to see, I, I suppose it's total immersion, as Mr. CDP would go on about quite a lot, um, in so much as there's nothing at all stopping you, and everything still functions the same, it would, you'd have to use your eyes to go for fill levels, it's a little bit like uh, doing my ultra realism where we, yeah, you, you do the, um, manual attach by Wopster and all of those type and also the only inside camera where you're always viewing that view it is a little bit like that and it's like that on steroids yeah I, I um, tell me what you think yeah do is is it an option I could get used to it I, I, but it, the only trouble is with doing that you cannot use follow me you cannot it switches it off so there's got to be some kind of clash but since that, my follow me is a bit hit and miss. I, I've removed Sim Dashboard for now out of my mods folder. Um, and since that day, though, there are some sessions where follow me will work, and there are some. I've did, I changed the config, but and the, then there's other sessions where it just doesn't work. Uh, and I don't know what is cracking up. Whether I need to remove it or whether. Well, no, the Sim Dashboard isn't in the mods folder anymore. That's what I mean. It's. I just don't get what it's about. Now then, if we go wide and do finish this, clean this little bit up at the back. Yeah, I'm well chuffed with that, what we've done though. It's, uh, yeah, oh, 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 careful. Yeah, I mean, we've managed to do all of these fields in one session, and that is quite good. Yeah, I mean, with the time lapse, of course, it is the time lapse that makes that capable. You, otherwise, it would be like a monster hour and a half session. Yeah, you, you can often clip that half an hour down and make it into an hour or sometimes 45 minutes with a big session like this. I'm glad we've come back to this because next that we've got the uh, almonds and pistachios. I think I think they're both in October. I'm sure they are. Right, so we need to be. Yeah, now we're going the right way. That's it. It's yeah, so we need to pull heavily. To, not heavily. No, we don't pull ever heavily in this. It's got to be gently and sedately with a nice arc like that. Not a nasty arc. It's got to go wide. 
especially if we're doing a single row at a time as we're trying to catch this rope you've got to come back in and work your angles out now on this row this is the awkward one because obviously you've got to really turn that away but I suppose because the grass has gone on this side it doesn't really matter well it would it would still matter if you had filled your bale and you were turning now because that the arm of the Anderson would do exactly what I said yes luckily we haven't quite finished that bale yeah so obviously when you run your ups and your downs that's when this is yeah not at its work all 24 bales that's it Right, okay then. Ah, need to do that actually. Need to do that. And we need to start that going in its unload position. And we'll go a little bit lower down, I think. And I thought, well, you see, that just goes to show you were totally wrong. I did, uh, yeah, no, uh, no, I don't always get it right. I know that. Like, it's definitely true. Yeah, so we'll drop these off. And there's a lot of bales. Yeah, we have done well. And these are full sets, so apart from the straw one, of course, that is not a full set at all. No, that's a few, so we, uh, well, we've got enough in there at the minute. We can uh, stick that over winter as well to keep them in the orbit of the, yeah, so that we're doing that the lossless recipe. I do love that. So, uh, so I think the window is about to finish. I do. We've just got our work to do. Ready. On down. And let's get this last little bit done. Amazing. I oh, know he's got the weeniest little amount to do on that so row, and it really is a weeny amount. It's one of those rows that really is not a row, but <laughs> the worker doesn't know that it's right now. This is perfect. This just means I can turn gently. I think this speed's too fast for that kind of turn. Well, that's what my driving instinct is telling me anyway. We'll try to listen to these things. They're not perfect, but they are good. And smash it. So, three more rows. Yeah, I thought you were going to finish over one. I did another court farm yesterday. Yeah, we've actually moved into the other farm. I actually prefer it in a way. I like the rabbits. I like the open plan of the rabbits on this, on the new farm that we've got. So the rabbits were the biggest thing to myself. This seems to have a large pig yard. So I think this one's specialization is pigs. But it also does seem to have a fairly decent, I think it's an open pasture for uh, cows. So we're going to see. I'm not to. Uh, yeah, because I'm, if I'm honest, and I'm going to speak as a find, I, I have an awful lot of respect for Oxygen David, but I, I wasn't terribly impressed with the... The sheep were okay, and the... I always like to go bigger if I'm going to go into chickens. Not it doesn't necessarily have to be massive, but they worked well, and they do a little amount, but yeah, um, no, then gently does it. Yeah, and I'm not trying to... Uh, the cow side of it, with the, the, the manure, it, would, it was at a five ton limit. I found that so limiting, if you'll forgive the play on words, that I, if, it, if this farmer's got that one, I'm not, I'm not putting, I'm gonna put another cow thing down. It's all, oh, be careful, you're gonna, the arm is gonna hit that if you go turn around quickly. Ooh, 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 that was lucky. Yeah, and that, that's the danger if, uh, if the Anderson's arm is underneath the back of the baler. Yeah, it will grab that bale. And that's why I've got the grass ones that I've got over the um, yeah the time that I've been using this. I, just, I, I thought there'd got to be a reason. I looked in editing one time as I was trying to focus on what the problem was, what was causing and it was just about that bending the wrong way. So, yeah, we can now combat that now we know about it. Yeah, so it did an entire row for this little tiny weeniest bit of grass that you've ever seen. Ah, but there's a bit more this way. Oh well, we will get it, we'll be thorough, because we need to go around the winter anyway. 
Yeah, so this, I have, I've got to be honest, I do find this. Obviously, the only thing is with bales, if you were using a clamp, you, your clamp's done by, like, tomorrow, and obviously this is done in two days, which is, of course, the advantage to a clamp. There are, in farming simulator, there are always advantages and disadvantages, but then you could say the same. The Omatana is capable of doing 240 tonnes of grass to silage in a night. I like the Omatana because it literally does so much, but yeah, we've not, yeah, we haven't got it on this let's play. I don't know whether, I think it was just we're going to stick with the bale and just stick with what we've got. And also there were lots of other things that we needed to pay attention to. So yeah, on, the, on Court Farms, the only thing, it was really strange, I did sort of try to, to go with it because I thought perhaps it does what a lot do, uh, which is... I don't we'll leave these on and we need to remind those bales. Drop that off. Bales need reminding that uh, gravity does exist and that one can be probably pushed a little. No, it can't. No. Right, let's go stick this away and let's go a little bit zoomed in. It's a bit. Uh, ah, we did stick it. In. Let's repair this little part. And I think that is where we're going to leave it. <sighs> yeah, it's a bit nasty. Right, stick this away, and yeah, I'm trying to get into good habits. Uh, there has, there have been, uh, well, uh, there has been a comment about my tidiness, uh, or <laughs> should I say, a lack of tidiness. Yeah, and I do actually totally, completely concur. I even I myself over the let's plays for those who do watch will hear me say that, uh, and it. It, as I said, it is, I've got to be honest, it is, I am a little bit autistic on that, in so much as where autism you don't you learn social skills. In a way, this is on par with that. Yeah, it is normally socially acceptable that you would, uh, to a degree, have tidiness. And I sort of break that now. That is a point, actually. Thinking about this, we are quite safe if we stick this really at the back. The other one doesn't go to that back at all. So if we, oh, no, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to do that. If we put that like that, it's still going to be underneath the thing. We should see. We should see if the windrow. Let's quickly grab the windrow. Let's try and be remain really nice and tidy. Stick the challenger under there for a little bit below. No, no, we, we, we would be definitely. Um, yeah, I've got this is the habits I, on Hobo's Hollow. When I was on Hobo's Hollow a lot, I actually did not a bad job at getting tidy. It is unfortunate to get start from scratch. You often haven't got um, sheds. It's something I think, even if I do start from scratch, I'd like to do because you can, there's always the overtime ones that are a thousand euros, dollars or pounds and you could always drop a couple of those in and then if you can't afford a thousand yes there are certain bits of a let's play where you can't but there's nearly all of the time you can afford, afford a thousand so yeah if you could do that with the sick overtimes in and then I've got to stay tidy it's that you, you learn tidiness like on Hobo's Hollow and then you unlearn it when you're on a start from scratch where you just go where you like because there isn't a shed so you just drop things in a practical place or an impractical place and yeah then you get to bad habits again And that is where we're going to leave things. Oh, we have had a bit of a tickle. We were, yeah, so that is smashing. Yeah, so next session, uh, we will take this. We could do it now, really. It would be a nice way, way to place to finish, I think. No, because it rushes things. Ah, oh, we have a Stratman that drops. Yeah, yeah, so we will. It's true. I'm not going to rush things. I'd like to uh, do sort of crack on and, and do a good job rather than rush and, and ruin things. So all that remains to be said for this session is thank you very much for watching. Truly do hope you're going to stick with me on this 
exciting, fantastic map, to be honest. Yeah, it is quite a unique one, and I really do... I was going to say Zuddlezark, but it's not Zuddlezark at all. It is. Oh, name is escaping me. It is. And then it's on the tip of my brain. It is. Yeah, we'll, we'll think of that. I should look for next time. Yeah, but for now, I'm going to say goodbye. And now...